my dream is to be able to help women who are struggling, you know, in their life um, to understand that they have strength. My business is Praise Fitness, and um, I work with different churches to help their congregation and members become healthier. When I prayed to God that he, you know, help me see what you see in me, God, you know, help me to value myself more, help me to be the woman that you want me to be, God, you know, show me, you know, show me, give me some help. And I tell you, I know that I know that I know that I know that that help was through the YWCA. And I'm just so grateful. In 2010, I moved to Delaware. Um, about seven months later, I lost my job. Um, so we moved into the Y. It was me, my three children, and my fiance at the time. During my time in home life, um, I gained employment. I saved money, I purchased a car. It was a huge, huge help for me to be able to sit in a space and be honest with myself and figure out what I wanted, what I wanted for myself and what I wanted for my children. I believe that our clients that come across our door have hope. It may have been like a small flicker, but I believe given the opportunity to have someone to listen and to respond to their needs allows their voice to return their hope, their joy, a smile. I've seen it happen over and over. We fall and we get back up. You know, this is a place for you to utilize um, where you are. Don't look at your glasses half empty, look at, it, look at it half full, and then fill the rest of your cup. You have the human right, the basic right, um, to, to live your life to your fullest potential. And to the degree that that is hampered by circumstances outside your control, that's the special niche I think that YWCA fills is overcoming those circumstances outside your control so you can keep moving forward and do life the way you want to do it. Every staff person that's here first and foremost believes in our mission to eliminate racism and empower women. YWCA has a long history of being at the forefront of many different social movements. It's so very critical for us to not only honor our legacy, but in moving forward, I mean, to really inspire social change and help to facilitate social change, we need to be bold, and we're going to be bold. difficult thing about rape culture in America is that um, being raped is like the only crime where um, the victim is um, is questioned you know about if it happened or not um, it's also the only crime where you um, you wake up every day and you're still in the crime scene you can't leave it I feel um, empowered by Sark every time I walk through that orange door. There is absolutely no judgment. I, my counselor, um, her name is Ebony, and she 
she has been so instrumental in like the growth that I've made and and even though you know I'm getting emotional about it now because I'm talking about it but there became a time where because I went to these meetings like faithfully it it it, it eventually s stopped consuming me to where I could I could I could do happy things with my daughter. I could stop crying in front of her all the time and I could try my best to like live my best life because I had to for her. We all have our expertise in certain areas, in certain content, in certain delivery models, and all those kind of practical aspects of helping a person move forward in their life. But what makes all the difference is that each one of us embraces the mission. And I know our clients can feel that. And that's what helps inspire them and give them hope for the future and helps pull them along so they can can get there.